Well, a friend of mine called me tonight and said he was having some TV trouble and wanted to know if I could come over and check out his problem. So I went over there and while I was there, I spotted this fan in his in his cluttered up workshop and, and I asked him about it and he said, "Well, let me ask my wife and make sure she don't want it because if I give away something she intends to keep, she'll scream to high heaven." So. He asked her about it, and she said, take it, so here it is. This is another one of those Zero branded fans. It was built by Bursted Manufacturing Company. This is the third such fan that I have. I'd say this one dates from the late 50s, early 60s. This particular one is a smaller model than the other ones I have. This is an 8-inch non-oscillating model. And when I brought it home, the cage was bent, and I spent about 30 seconds straightening it out, and I applied a little oil to the motor. I want to eventually take this apart and clean it and lubricate it properly and probably put a new power cord on it, too. This one's getting a little hard. But out of the three I've got, this one's probably in physically the best shape. And you can see someone put a inline switch on the power cord. These didn't originally come with a switch. You just plugged them in to turn them on and unplugged them to turn them off. So we'll turn it on and I'll show you how it operates. As you can hear, it's noisier when it's sitting on the bench, and I think the reason for that is the rubber grommets on the base of the fan have become hard as a rock, so therefore they're not absorbing the vibration like they normally would. But this little sucker takes off and blows a good bit of air. Has a nice spin down time. I don't. I don't imagine this fan was used very much, because most of these little cheap fans from that era that I find are usually very beat up, and a lot of times the bearings are shot from lack of lubrication. Okay, there you go, my little eight-inch zero desk fan. Thanks for watching, and more to come later.